to all my PS99 friends. I've decided that um, as the art teacher, Ms. Fallon, I wanted to provide the whole school with some art lessons. So once a week, I'm gonna share a lesson that anybody, even if I don't have you in class, anybody can do. So today, I am going to show you how to make a collage. This is how the word looks, collage. It's a French word, fancy French word. Okay, so you can use any kind of things you find in your house for your collage. I use some magazines, those are great. You can cut out words of your favorite things that you love. You can cut out things like this and all kinds of objects. I want you to look for things you really like. Don't just cut out anything. Look for things that tell about you. Okay, oh, I even found this because I love the color blue. Then, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the scissors in case you forgot, um, and how to use them safely. So when you find something that you want to cut out, See, my hand is all the way over here, way away from my scissor. My scissor is pointing straight ahead. And when I wanna make a turn, I turn the paper, not the scissor. So I'm gonna cut, I really just want the palm tree in this and the flowers. But see, I keep, I keep this hand far away from where I'm cutting. And I go nice and slow so I don't rip the paper. It doesn't have to be perfect, not at all, it's just, Fun to make. Okay, oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to my pile. And I'm also gonna say you could find, if you're lucky enough to have some tin foil in your house, you can cut out any kind of abstract shapes that you want with the tin foil, just to add some texture and some interesting paper to your collage. So I might just use that in the background somewhere when I make my collage. Mmm, you might have coffee filters. Those are great for edit. Well, oh, keep my fingers away from where I'm cutting. I'm gonna add that to my pile. I could even color that. You could use crayons on coffee filters. Now, I'm also gonna cut some interesting shapes with my scissor, just like the artist on Ray Matisse did. When he was older and he was sick and he couldn't stand up and paint anymore, he would make these wonderful collages. He actually called it drawing with scissors. So you see my fingers are far away from where I'm cutting. And he made really fun shapes that he could add on to his collage. Here's an example. I'll try to post one with this lesson of one, one of his collages. Okay, and then you're also gonna need any kind of paper. It could be lined paper, white paper, whatever you guys have at home. And you're going to arrange your pictures all over the paper. I'm not gonna glue yet because I wanna see how I like it first. And I'm gonna overlap, put my pictures on top of each other a little bit. Watch, I'm gonna overlap right there. Ooh, I can make that one go to the edge of the paper like that. I can even put things on top. I can overlap here. See where that covers that a little bit? That way I don't have much space left at the end and my whole picture will be covered with all of these pieces that I cut out. So it looks like I might even have to cut out some more before I finish. And when I'm done, I will post a picture of what mine looks like to share with you. Hmm, so I'll see. Don't forget when you do this, oops, to put the glue carefully all around the edges of your paper like this and press down well when you glue it down. Okay, I want you to have a really fun time with this and then I'll see you next week for another lesson. Bye guys.